Welcome to the Radical Lifestyle Podcast, brought to you by Generation to Generation, where you will be inspired by the past, equipped for the present, and prepared for the future, as we engage in conversations with people from around the world. Hello everyone, this is Andrew and Daphne from Generation to Generation. Um, 2020, this is the last episode of the year. If you'd have said to us in January, February, even March, that we were going to spend most of our time in our recording studio, which sounds rather grand. Actually, it's just in our kitchen. You may not be able to tell from what you see, but behind the camera is our oven, it's our washing machine, it's our kitchen sink. Uh, 2020 has made people have to adjust uh, and adapt to this new lifestyle. And uh, we want to say thank you for, for everyone who's followed us over the years but also for those that have tracked with us during this year. We've had to adapt um, the way we've done things before. We've traveled constantly for about 28 years, traveling on average six months of a year. Last year, we traveled nine months of the year. And then this year, we spent nine months at home. Um, So we've spent more time at home than we have in 28 years. And so we've had to find new ways of doing things. And... um, I want to say thank you to all those that have been listening to these podcasts, whether that's the audio on things like Spotify and Apple and Google um, and Amazon podcasts, and even those who've started listening or watching on YouTube that we've just started the Radical Lifestyle podcast channel. Thank you to all of you that have been listening for spreading the word, those that have rated us, given us a good rating, or even a, a nice comment. We see them, we're encouraged by them. It also helps to spread the word about what we're doing, the conversations that we have. And I know for many people listening, they maybe don't know who we are pre-COVID. They only know who we are as a result of COVID. And they hopefully will track with us um, as we continue to walk through this. So for people that that are listening that don't actually know who Generation to Generation is, the, the, the charity behind the podcast, we want to just take some time to, to talk about that for give more of a background for people that don't necessarily know who we are so for for Daphne my co-host for most of these uh, the founder of generation to generation do you want to talk a bit about who are we both well, the, uh, I guess us as people but uh, the charity as well yes well at base level we're ordinary people and just wanting our lives to make a difference so about 28 29 years ago I found myself in the middle of traveling the world which sounds a bit crazy but um, it was literally like that we didn't set out to have an organization called generation to generation people started asking me to speak and and I just said yes and if you go and watch a podcast we have done on yes is it called the the uh, yes culture I think it is. yes you will hear the story of how a yes got us into over 40 nations in the past 28 years. Now, Andrew and his sister were children, and so I just took them with me. And we began to live God's great adventure. We have done pastors and leaders conferences all over the world. We have been concerned about raising up the next generation, connected generations for literally the times we're living in. And so what we're doing now isn't a different message or a different direction or a different vision. It is still about preparing people for the time we're living in and Mm. to live radically. Mm. So we've lived pretty crazy lives, Um, sitting in our kitchen in the corner in our recording studio is never something that was on our radar. No. Um, I've listened to podcasts for years. Right. But um, yeah, we'd never have thought of starting one hadn't considered it, having to get all this stuff to be able to do it, the microphones, the backdrop. I mean, this is all stuff completely outside of, of our realm of, uh, of expertise or, uh, yeah. It, it's just something that, that COVID um, <laughs> made us do, moved us into. You know. Right, so um, let me tell you a few of the things that we have done and the places we've been to, and you will see how, on the one hand, this is different, and on the other hand, it isn't different. So some of our adventurers have taken us to um, the Ivory Coast and nearly getting macheted there. We have been um, 
in hijacked situations, we've been under armed guard, we've been stormed by police when we were speaking, we've been in terrorist targets. And that's the type of life that we've led. Yeah. Um, again, not because we went looking for it, but it's just where we ended up and right. that's there how was, it was. There was a need in those areas. Yeah. Uh, people invited us to go and it just so happened that these areas were not um, the most safe or secure. Um, but whenever we've been asked to go to those places, we've never let things like that put us off. We've always said, yes, whatever happens to us, you know, we're willing to take the risks in order to help other people. So people have often said to us, oh, you're radical. You live radical lifestyles. Um, and on the one hand, I think, yes, we do from some from most people's perception. But to us, it's quite normal. Right, it all feels very normal to us until we see the looks on other people's faces yeah. as we tell them these stories. And then we realise, yeah, okay, maybe in this day and age, it's not so normal. Right. But for us, this is the way everyone maybe should be doing things, not maybe looking quite the same, but we should all be willing to take risks to help other people. So, so the title of Radical Lifestyle really fits um, who we are and it fits the life we've led and the life we intend to keep on leading. And so when you thought about doing podcasts and there seemed to be a, a, a way that in the moment we can get the message out, we started to look for people who in one way or another are seeking to live radically. So, I mean, that radically can look like many different things. I mean, we've had people talking about raising four boys with a focus and a focus for them to live radically mm. um, for the king. Which just a couple of years ago wouldn't have been that radical. No. But we now live in a time and age where it, it seems the destruction of the family unit right. is now making having a core solid family a radical thing. You're seen as someone who's a bit, you know, crazy for, for having that kind of ideal or ideals or principles. Um, so yeah, the the radical, maybe people hear that and go, they, they have a preconceived idea of what radical is, right? but that could look like a whole range of different things. And some of those things, maybe just a few years ago, weren't actually that, that crazy, that radical. So that family, Jenny Daggereth, who's done the podcast, she sent all her boys out with us to not only that she wanted to raise them with focus and to live prepared to really go for it, but she sent them out to us to catch a bit of what it meant to live our type of yeah. lifestyle. So that that's one of the stories we've had. And then we've been to the other extreme where we had Rudy Atala, who... Is, has been um, involved with... What Rescuing was... persecuted people around the world. Uh, yeah, and he yeah. was a part of what was the film? He he wasn't a part of the film. The, no. the real-life situation of Captain Phillips, yeah. he was awarded a medal for his work in rescuing yeah, the real-life Captain Phillips. And, and But all these stories, um, we're looking at what is it in their lives that we can take principles, ideas... Um, that we can take and apply to our own lives right. to, to live more radically, to right. live more boldly and courageous in our own lives. So it isn't that we have these conversations and guests on just so we can hear about them. No. Um, I mean, that would be great. And all of their stories are amazing in their own right. But we want to see what can we learn from these people? What can we take from it uh, and and implement as we go forward and even help prepare us more for the future, not just be inspired by the past? And, uh, and a lot of them, even just their messages and the things they focus on overlap with who we are. So you Definitely. talk about Jenny Daggereth and family and we're called generation to generation. We have this big focus on the generations and families. We mm. talk about Rudy Atala and helping to rescue persecuted people. And we as an organization have spent many years in and around persecuted people and trying to help in those situations. So there are a lot of overlaps between who we are and what we do. And for a, a lot of the guests that we have on Radical Lifestyle. So in a way, the, the guests that come on are delivering the message we've already delivered, 
but we're hearing it through their lives. So that makes it even more powerful in a way. You're not just right. hearing it from our lives, but you're yeah. hearing it through their lives. And some of the people we've had on have not just talked about their lives, but the situation in the world, yeah. which is pushing us to live more radically. Because if we understand what's going on in the world today and what is happening, we have the, cho the choice, really, to press forward and, and to really be more focused or to sit back. So even mm. though some of them are not telling their own story, we've had them on in order to help us and help people listening um, reevaluate where they're at and the direction that they're going forward in. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I mean, there's um, Michael Dixon and Dr. Naomi oh, yeah. Baum from Israel who've written a book, Is Resilience, and they're telling other people's stories, but people yeah. that had gone through really difficult times and showing the resilience that they had, things that they had to do to overcome their situations. Right. And a lot of that was very relatable for us and for everyone listening in the world that we're in now, because we're all going through difficult time and having to adjust and develop that resilience to keep pushing on when it seems like just just as we're about to get over the hill, there's light at the end of the tunnel, suddenly we're all shut back down again and, and it can feel like maybe that hope's getting extinguished. But how do we continue to have resilience to persevere through the challenges? Yes, um, one of the phrases that they said, which I thought is very applicable um, in life generally and especially today, she said, when you're going through trauma, when you've gone through difficult times, you don't talk about bouncing back. And many people are talking about going back, going back to where we were. But the phrase that she used and uh, Michael Dixon uses is bouncing forward. Yeah. And and I thought, yeah, that is that this is why... We have adapted and what we're doing, we are seeking to bounce forward and not bounce back. Mm. Now, that doesn't change who we are, doesn't mm. change the message. I mean, we don't give a message because it's something we've read. It, it is our lives. Right, it's who we are. Yes, it's who we are. So, you, you know, people listening are only going to hear that DNA in the thread right. of, of all the people that we we talk yeah. with. And... Uh, I have been I have been very changed by some of the people that we heard. Mm. Some yeah. some real highlights. I mean, we've had young people talking. We've had all generations talking, and um, hearing what's been going on in Brazil, hearing what's been going on in Malaysia, in Australia, Singapore. all over the world, um, and bringing a voice to the message that we have. Right, and I guess we're fortunate in that after traveling to over 40 nations in 28 years we have this network of people that we know that we're able to bring on and, mm. and hear from and different expertise and we don't want this podcast to be something where it's all solely focused on one country or one situation you know we want to be able to hear from people from all over the world and it may be that people are going through something in asia that hasn't quite hit the west and so what can we learn from them? How can we prepare for things that they are going through that will hit us and vice versa? Um, so we want this to be a place where we can learn from a lot of deep, different people, from a lot of different backgrounds, whether they are people of faith, whether they are people with military backgrounds and political uh, people involved in the political scene. You know, we're, we're trying to pull people in from all kinds of backgrounds to be able to talk to us about all kinds of subjects um and it keeps things interesting for us as well i mean we are talking to some people and we start these conversations and we feel like we are so far in over our heads <laughs> we've got we sort of feel like we're making it up as we go along in the conversations but it keeps us on our toes and it keeps it engaging so hopefully people listening uh, are as engaged in these conversations as we are yeah and and all of them are really helping us with the strong focus that we have at the minute, is, which is what are the signs of the times. So they bring to it, to us, different aspects that help us to say, well, what are the signs of the times that we're living in? Mm. What What is this time we're living in? It's not where we're concerned. It's not just a pause, but it's a, a very um, focused time that we really have our eyes on what are the signs of the times and what do we do? And for people who've known us many years, let, let me just connect this with our message. Our message, our vision is to reconnect the generations 
and prepare them for such a time as this. Mm -hmm. So the radical lifestyle for many, many different ways is preparing people for such a time as this. We've had people talking about survival, for example. Yeah, disaster preparation. Disaster preparation. So mm -hmm. the preparing for such a time as this is, is, is what we're all about. And you will find that we swing around the generations. We're not about one generation, we're about all generations mm. and about preparing for the days we're living in. Mm. So Yeah, and we don't want this just to be something we talk about. No. We want it to be a very practical thing as well. So um, hopefully as people listen to these episodes, they hear practical outworkings of what, what people can do and um, yeah, not just these ideas. Um, but if they want to know more, there is another initiative that we could talk about. Some people may or may not know that we've started an Issachar network. Okay. And um, which, again, is a network of people across the world formed in small groups where together we're looking at what are the signs of the times and what do we do? 1 Chronicles 12.32 says the sons of the men of Issachar knew the signs of the times and what to do. So if people wanted to hear more along that lines or wanted to be part of that very, very focused, then um, they can email us or message us. You we can put a link in the description. Yeah, and you can find out more about that. So we're also doing podcasts that... Um, you can't access unless right. you're I don't, part There of are some that. that I don't release yes. generally, yeah. but are exclusive to that network. And again, it's a very practical thing where you yes. have these conversations again across the world right. um, for what are the signs of the times, but also what do we do? How can we even prepare for what's to come? And so, yeah, that's, that's a new initiative, again, born out of the COVID situation, born out of the craziness of... 2020 and all that is bought so yeah that's a new initiative also which is already i mean it's only been going officially a few months and it's already in uh, i don't know over 15 nations mm -hmm. uh, people that have, have connected into it so again if you're interested in that you think that sounds good i'll put the link in the description go check that out um what what else has has 2020 um done for us i mean is that we've had to adjust everything about the organization um family yeah. all of that has been completely shifted as it has for many people um what well, okay so what then does 2021 maybe look like for us um <laughs> it, given that times are shifting very fast do we do we want to just continue doing what we're doing now for the rest of 2021 um i mean what's your attitude towards the year which is, is ahead <laughs> well i have several thoughts but i don't know i mean my attitude is i'm going to take the word plan right out of our vocabulary <laughs> <laughs> i don't think um uh. i don't think planning is in it <laughs> but i do have some thoughts for start i'm not expecting things to revert to what they are were mm -hmm. does that mean we won't travel again i hope not i mean you know you this... hope you hope that we won't travel again no does that mean we won't travel again oh okay yeah, yeah, yeah. i hope not i, I hope, hope not. well yes. i hope we, so will hopefully travel. we will travel again. yes yeah. i mean not the least because there's so many friends and and colleagues across yeah. the world who we have very long-standing relationships with uh, and we want to make more relationships so i hope I hope that we will travel at least for a season. What I'm not expecting is for things to go back to as they were. Neither neither do I expect that what we're doing now is going to be over. That podcasts, right. it's a car network. I do see it continuing to develop. Yeah. And I think we've, you know, one of the key things is to be adaptable and creative. Mm -hmm. and, and that is without losing the message, without losing the vision, Right. Without losing our DNA, I think it would be hard because it's a part of who we are. But yeah. So I think moving forward, I think the big thing is not to settle. Right. For us not to settle with the fact we're doing podcasts, not to settle, oh, we've got, it's a car network. Oh, yes, you know, we're, we're writing materials. We're doing 
all of this. And of course, we've got Operation Open Eyes as a part of Generation to Generation, which yeah, is Operation Open Eyes being our anti human trafficking initiative, right? Yeah. Which your sister Daniela heads up. So that is an initiative which must carry on and must be created because the need is even greater. Mm-hmm. So what do I see with 2021? I really don't know, <laughs> except we're not giving up. We're not We're not losing our passion. We're not losing our focus. And I'm excited to see what it's going to hold. Yeah, I, I think that it it is this, you know, we, we, we were given 2020. We shifted. Hmm. We have these new initiatives. We have the podcast and we're going to continue those. But like you said, we don't want to just continue to do them. And that's just that. No, is it a continued development? You know, they may look slightly different. We may adjust certain things about them uh, as we go forward. But that's all a part of expanding, developing things. Um, And, you know, you're right. I I think that if people think 2021 is suddenly going to be amazing, to be fair, for 2021 to be better than 2020, if we get four (laughs) months of freedom... And then we spend the rest of the time in lockdown. I mean, that's an improvement. That's how bad 2020 has been. So um, 2021 uh, has got quite a lot of room to to be better than the year we've just gone through. But um, we do have so, uh, one idea we haven't mentioned. I didn't say plan. I said idea, right? To, to start doing some roundtable podcasts. Yeah. Um, to start having some discussion across nations on various topics. Yeah, so maybe having leaders, three or four leaders on one podcast to have a conversation mm. around a subject. I mean, we've um, got two in mind at the moment. Yeah, so that's uh, that would be an example of the, the development of the podcast yeah. that we may not just have one or two guests at a time. We may have more like a roundtable conversation, uh, longer form conversation about certain subjects. Mm. Um which would be really interesting to hear perspectives from different nations um, or people with different um, expertise on the subject right. rather than just one. So I'm looking forward to doing that. I, that had slipped my mind. So already we're looking at developing, shifting and changing. Mm. But for me, it's been a, a privilege, a real privilege to sit with these numerous people who have given their time willingly um, to talk about, to talk for Radical Lifestyle. And I'd encourage anybody who perhaps has started listening, go back and see, you know, scroll through all the people we've had because Mm. there will surely be people talking on something that you're passionate about. Yeah. I mean, there's a whole range of subjects. A whole range of subjects, a whole yeah. range. I mean, I have been interested in them all, but just because they're so engaging, people. I've cried yeah. through some and I've laughed through some. Yeah, we have, same. We can let in behind the scenes. We did have at least uh, two or three podcasts where we just had to keep doing retakes because we laughed so badly. Yes, there was one I actually thought we were going to have to cancel it because we laughed so much. Yes before recording that I I didn't actually think we would pull ourselves together enough to be able to have some sort of serious conversation um and actually that point that episode was meant to be conversational but it turned into more like them speaking to us because if we had tried to interact it probably would have just fallen apart part in uh, laughter again um I don't know whether you you know, podcasts do outtakes, but that might be very interesting. Anybody who's feeling depressed can just listen to a podcast of us laughing. <laughs> yeah, I could. It depends. Maybe if I hear from enough people, I can do an outtakes clip on uh, on YouTube, the Radical Lifestyle Podcast YouTube channel. Yeah, um, that would be hilarious. But we'll we'll see. We'll see if there's uh, <laughs> enough demand for me to <laughs> scan through all of the stuff that we've done over 76 episodes, I think, so far. Because people who don't know us personally um, don't know that one of our core values in life is to have a sense of humour yeah. and to laugh. And uh, that's a good thing most of the time, but not when you're trying to be serious. Yeah. So. Uh, hopefully, hopefully during the course of these podcasts, a sense of humour has come through yeah. on some of them. Um, hopefully. But yeah. Um, I mean, maybe if people listening know somebody and they think, 
really like to hear that person being interviewed. Do they can right? They can message you and, and suggest comment. people comment. Um, well, yeah, if you listen on Apple or Spotify mm. or something like that, if you follow us on social media, like you said, send us a message or mm. comment under a promotion for the ep- for we the podcast episodes, or uh, yeah, if you're on if you're watching on YouTube, mm. then. Uh, leave a comment let us know who you'd like to hear us have conversations with Mm -hmm. um but again uh, you know thank you so much to everyone who's tracked us on radical lifestyle podcast this year we so appreciate it the encouraging messages that we've had from people Mm -hmm. the really nice comments and ratings all of those things help with algorithms to help get the word out there about what we're doing so again as we sign off on the final episode of 2020 you're not going to say happy new year for 2020 i'm not going to say anything i'm just going to say just be (laughs) (laughs) choose your words carefully andrew choose your words carefully choose my words carefully but again thank you so much to everyone um if you know people who you think would would love these these podcasts these episodes Mm. Please continue to spread the word, um, share them on social media, subscribe on YouTube or on one of the other podcast platforms. Leave us a comment, a rating, hopefully a good one. If it's not very good, then then don't bother. <laughs> <laughs> but I would like to say we'll see you in 2021. I and mean, seriously, we do hope that 2021 is a year of shalom, his peace and perfect wholeness and one that where we are all um who we are is developed and who we are is and i've got into a muddle on what i'm trying to say do you want to finish it (laughs) (laughs) no i might just leave you in the muddle (laughs) no (laughs) 2021 is one where we all grow to be more like jesus and it's one year nearer his return. And if anybody's listening and don't know what I'm talking about, message underneath, we'd love to tell you because we really believe that for those of you who do know what I'm talking about, we are moving faster towards the return of the King than we ever believed. So get ready. Let's use next year to be more ready and the others around us are ready. And be sure of one thing, we're cheering you on. Yeah, 2020 and the madness that it was will not be an isolated year. No. Things are going to get crazier. Yeah. So we want to walk with you. Right. Through this. Walk with you in preparation for the years which are ahead. Yeah. We want this to be a community where we can grow together. Right. And so hopefully you feel that. Please, again, message. Let us know what you think. If you have suggestions of people that you think would be great to have on here, Mm -hmm. let us know your thoughts. Again, 2020 Goodbye. who'd have thought <laughs> it would end up like this um i certainly didn't we had lots of plans for 2020 that that didn't happen as all of you have but 2021 we're almost there here we come um whatever that looks like people usually celebrate entering the new year i think this year they're going to celebrate leaving the old one i remember 2019 wasn't very good for a lot of people And they couldn't wait to see the back of 2019. I remember seeing a meme that said, we should all go back to 2019 and (laughs) apologise. Because 2020 has been so bad. So hopefully, hopefully 2021 isn't as bad as 2020. But whatever it looks like, again, we appreciate all of you. Yeah, we do. We want to walk with you. Mm -hmm. Uh, Hopefully we continue to encourage you, but yet provide conversations which will encourage, inspire and embolden you for the years which are ahead of us. And I just had a thought, if people have a topic they'd like addressed, not necessarily just people, um, message us and say, I'd really like you to have someone on who talks on this topic, because that we can do as well. Yeah, yep, all of that and everything else we've said. Yeah. So again, thank you so much to everyone. We appreciate you. 2020, we're out of here. 2021, we're coming. Here we come. (laughs) Thanks, everyone. (laughs) Bye. Thank you for listening to this episode. If it inspired you, please rate us and subscribe on Apple or Google Podcasts, Spotify or another podcast platform.